So this is a really interesting point in the season where you've just opened the first four shows. Um, these are the four shows that rehearse side by side during an initial eight week rehearsal period and then they open in four successive production weeks. So last night we opened um, Absurd Person Singular and that's had just two performances so far, uh, whereas four weeks ago was the only performances of High Society. So High Society's had six performances in total already and then Alan Bennett's People and Mary Rose, the J.M. Barry have had smaller numbers in between the two. So audiences are getting a first chance to sample the range of the season at this point. The acting ensemble is getting the chance to begin to figure out exactly how the four pieces sit together, how the ensemble works, and as of this point onwards, this is where life for the actors gets really interesting, because from this point onwards, it's now all about repertoire. Um, they've got four shows up and running. From today onwards, it's a daily rotation, changing the show every day, and of course on matinee days, two completely different shows, while at the same time, as of next Monday, they're back into rehearsal for the next show, which is the ruling class, the Peter Barnes show. So um, at this point in the season, audiences get the opportunity to begin to see the range of work on offer so that you can, you can come and have a slightly spooky but nonetheless uplifting afternoon with J.M. Barry and Mary Rose say at a matinee and then come back on the same evening and you've either got something all singing, all dancing, all shouting like high society or you've got the very witty and, and very um, uh, racy Alan Bennett's people or you can come and see alternatively the classic 1970s Eggbourne drama of suburbia um, with all of its associated hilarity. So uh, depending on which combination you come to see, whether it's successive days, whether it's two Two on a matinee day, audiences can begin to sample just the range and um, the demands that are placed on the actors within the repertoire season. And of course, as we go further into the season, as the other two shows, first of all, Ruling Class, and then finally David Gregg's Europe join the repertoire, the breadth of that experience for both audiences and performers just grows and grows and grows.